All right, now. Now it's FaceTime. FaceTime. Now the face is actually really small because it's like missing half the head because of the head. <laughs> um, and it's not even going to be that visible after the head is um, attached. Yeah. So it's um, a little tricky. It is a little tricky. Also, we have quite some details going on. So we have a small uh, goatee and a moustache and the goggles and some hair. And, and all of that on like five square millimeters. <laughs> it's, I think it's probably the trickiest part of the miniature. Yeah, I think it, it, uh, there are easier faces, let's say, yeah. <laughs> let's put it like that, because, because of the scale, actually. Yeah. Um, so I will mix a darker tone to start with, um, the areas that are like, like the neck, because it's quite deep down there. I'm actually quite uh, excited to see what you do with that because uh, I mean the Lagata was uh, uh, not sorry not the Lagata the shield mane has nothing to do with Vikings <coughs> was so big um, I th yeah I think the face and her chest is about as big as this whole miniature <laughs> at least uh, as tall not even that big but um, so are, are you working are you will you be working with a lot of contrast here to emphasize it more or what's what's your plan of um. attack. Yeah, it will be, uh, it will be quite contrasty, um, but we still have to ha have the impression of a, like a soft skin and mm. not not like a, that it's carved carved out of wood or mm. non metal. So it will be a little bit back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, I mix the uh, skin color that I started with from red beige from uh, model color, a bit of black and tank brown to. Get a nice uh, warm red tone. Like I can actually see how uh, Ben tries to wrap his head around the, <laughs> the face because he tries to also show it to the camera instead of turning it and facing him. So up there we have also a piece of the forehead. You gotta make sure you cover that, but again, most of that is hardly bare or hardly visible after the head is on. So in the, as a next thing, I will uh, work on the nose. So that is quite a dominant feature of the face. So, uh, mix a little bit more of the um, red beige into the color to light it up a bit. Yeah, understanding how to um, kind of correctly highlight a face is actually not that hard. Um, there's couple of core rules. Um, on a small face like this, obviously, it's a little hard to, to see and to learn. But um, if you're an Academy member, um, well, first of all, the Shield Maiden comes to mind. Um, then we also have the um, 19th Infantry Corporal um, that we had a pretty uh, decent sized face on there as a 75 mil miniature. And um, that's a little easier to see. But the same principles apply. Yeah, so we will um, place a highlight here on the upper edge of the nose. Pull that down and highlight the lower side here, the tip, the tip of the nose. Also a little on the nostril. Yeah, mm. right now it looks extremely dominant because everything else is just so dark. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit like these fun glasses with uh, plastic with nose on. Nose, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so, 
it's, so, it's also a nose bro. It's like Randolph. <laughs> also a tiny highlight here. Darker. But still highlight color. Go to the side to get the nose a little bit uh, bigger actually, broader. Uh, mid tone here to, to highlight the cheeks. It was a strand of hair hanging down there, mm -hmm. but we will just <coughs> paint over that. Fix it later. So, yeah, you can see he has some. Uh, wrinkles here in the face that result from, from looks a bit like re they're resulting from smiling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd be smiling if I had a jetpack like that. Yeah, from that perspective, they're a little better to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird because it's it's just missing half the head a little bit. It, it looks it looks a little strange uh, from the from the proportions. But now that we actually put the the, the flesh tones and the highlights in the right space, uh, it actually makes much more sense. Okay, I'm adding some white here to uh, get a highlight point here on the the cheekbone here. A little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll use uh, some dark brown to uh, Paint the beard and the, the hair to get a separation there. I'll use some tank brown, some black, and a bit of uh, matte brown. Um, matte brown from the Model Air range. Okay. And the good thing is he's got glasses and you don't have to paint the eyes. Yeah, the eyes would be extremely tricky in that scale. Making some of the hair color into the flesh tone to get a nice intermediate tone for the lower side here. Stronger reflex on the nose. So now I will try to highlight the moustache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
and once again I think you see how important it is to have a brush with a good tip. Like this face would be impossible without a good tip. That's a pro tip right there. Brett and I were both very focused right now. He's trying to hit all of the little details and I'm making sure that he's not losing focus <laughs> on the camera. It is a very small detail and I'm gonna blow this up for you guys at home. Uh, just remember it's very small. So if you're watching this on your 42 inch screen TV and this looks really, really big, it's not. <laughs> no, actually it's extremely tiny. Mm -hmm. Right now I will just, um Continue working on the uh, on the um, goggles to um, have like the very strong contrast there to then see what I can do mm. to still push the uh, colors in the in the face a bit more. Yeah, um, I will use the um, same green, the scruff green that I've used for the discoloration of the of the metal on the backpack for the glasses. Mm -hmm. That's actually a very nice color. It's a good contrast, that green to the like beige reddish skin. Still want to add like a very very tiny uh, light dot. It's a little bit like a reflex in the eye, you want to make sure that they are both in the same uh, direction. Yeah, also they need to, to match the uh, direction where you have painted the, the light on the rest of the miniature. Yeah. Um, also to have that uh, nice color contrast, I will uh, use some of the steel color for the side of the goggles, mm -hmm. because they have sort of frame on the side. So turquoise. Black and a bit of white. First, a bit of the base color. Then some white on the tip. the top side uh, of the frame and then the inside of the lower part of the frame. Turn on a little thick. Would you say that one of these pieces is about as big as a millimeter in diameter, or is it? Uh, yeah, maybe not even. Yeah, it's probably, yeah. And so turning it down again to the side. Mm -hmm. And again, this characteristic of metal is extremely strong contrast. I think it looks quite good for, uh, for the size. I'm quite happy with it. Um, but I think 
we should add a little bit more red uh, on the lower side of the yeah. cheeks and maybe the nose to bring it a little to life because the color right now is a little bit too pale mm -hmm. for my taste. Mm -hmm. So we will mix some of the uh, dark flesh tone that we've mixed previously. With a little bit of model color red mm -hmm. and a little bit of the uh, red beige. Okay, and just trying to. Place a very, very small amount of that. Here on the lower side of the nose and also here under the cheek. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I have to say, I'm, I'm a little bit amazed. Um, uh, of course, when the miniature is primed black and you look at the face, uh, you can't really even see all of the detail. Uh, and you might uh, think the face actually looks a little different than what it, what it does. But um, it's actually quite amazing how much you, you uh, were able with highlights and with uh, shadows and now with this little red to actually bring this to life. It's quite cool. Yeah, and to be honest, I spent a couple of minutes just looking at the details of the face to really make them out because they're so small mm -hmm. before I started to paint them. Um, I will just uh, line the moustache a bit because it's kind of lost here. Isn't this mustache? Is, is that the American pronunciation? I don't know. Le moustache. <laughs> Le moustache. <laughs> nice. <coughs> I'm not sure. I think the left, left glasses could use a new highlight on the top. A bit. Um, on the left side, I also need to uh, add a tiny bit of, of a highlight. Not as bright as, as on the other cheek, cheek but. Uh, still, we need to just give it a tiny indication of light. Yeah, the sable will not have us see it. That's all right. Thank you. Do you know where I just put the paint? Yep, nice. All right, now I'm happy. Awesome. Under my supreme leadership and instruction, you have now completed this phase. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. I will continue with uh, some highlights on the hair. Mm -hmm. um, but for the face itself, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, even with the, the very small touches of red, you can even see that. Um, I'm going to just continue with the lights here on the hair. Painting and highlighting hair is also a very, very deep subject. Uh, something that um, a lot of people don't know how to do. Uh, the one thing you don't want to do is dry brush it. <laughs> um, and again, I think on this miniature is very small. Um, a prime example right now, I would say, is the, the Shield Maiden. The video because she's got beautiful hair. It's, it's, I mean, it's obviously it's big, but the, the principles that we explained and applied there are very, very um, universal when it comes to hair. So, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. That looks good with his giant head. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's quite amazing actually. Um, he 
You see how much that highlight on the on the cheek gets lost once you have the the head on top. Ah. Mm. Look. Pretty. <laughs> we were a little bit afraid, but now we are very happy, so that's cool. Yeah. Okay. 